About 80 years ago, an English mechanic from Portland, Harry Green, offered an idea of automatization of the glue joints process using a heat or other tool like a contemporary tool, now known as a glue gun. But a tool offered by him as a glue gun was significantly different from our contemporary glue gun. Talking about its construction, it had a bottle containing a sprint system for glue feed control inside and a choke line system which was movable placed on the narrow side of the bottle. The main goal of that glue gun was to make a work of a furniture assembly specialist quicker. It was to place equal quantities of glue on expansion and anchors and make furniture panels of them. While using the glue gun, a worker takes a gun handle, inserts the nozzle into expansion anchor and pushes down. Then a piston one goes into a pipe and gives necessary quantity of glue. And glue comes out of expansion anchor holds the radial slots at ports. You can change a given quantity of glue by regulation spring with a screw. This tool has some advantages of usual glued assembly. First of all, glue is given in a prescribed doses. Secondly, glue feed point is small and glue can't come to undesirable places of the assembled construction. Three, glue is in the pressure vessel and can't be spilled. Moreover, glue doesn't dry when much air penetrates into a vessel. All this makes it all very useful for speed acceleration during glue processes. Though glue gun of Gary Green didn't use solid free adhesive, but having three main elements a box of glue and nozzle and a feed glue control valve, it was a functional predecessor for a modern glue gun.